It's a metal bandsaw with a, about a 12 inch throat, so you can cut up to about 12 inch pieces. They can be solid pieces or profiles, the, the tubing or square tubing or round tubing, anything. But the critical part is you can work on things that are thicker, you have teeth on the blades. Uh, the, the piece that you're working on has to be thicker than the blade, the, the distance between the teeth on the blade. You have to have like two to four teeth on at the same time. So, you, so the only disadvantage is you can't cut very thin stuff, but it works great, especially for solid shafts, which you just let the machine go pretty much. Uh, so this is a blade, uh, it stretches out to about 10 feet around, about that. Here's how it looks, the blade basically goes around this drive wheel, the, the motor is behind this and it drives this and it makes this blade go up and down, very perpendicular, so you can get a straight cut. There's guides that keep everything in, in order, you can adjust the spacing for the kind of workpiece you're doing. You clamp your workpiece firmly here. Um, to replace the blade you actually loosen this so that makes the, the wheel pull in so you can get the blade around it. Now to turn it on, first you have to release the safety. That's a safety. Every time you turn it on, which is the power is off right now, every time you turn it off, you hit the button, and then to start again as a safety, you gotta pull it back out. The, the th main thing you control on this machine is, one, you clamp the material, but then it's about the speed of how fa fast you're going through the material, and it's used, done by using the switch here. Why is it important? It's a, it's a great machine for very thin cuts in metal, very thin, very clear, very clean, that you don't have to finish them. They're, they're very clean, no grinding required afterwards. Uh, this also has coolant lubricant, so the material doesn't heat up, so it's actually safer to touch, and no hot parts, just be careful about safety here. The moving part is the blade. Don't want to get your hands in there, that will cut right through you. Um, other safety equipment is, of course, goggles at any time, safety eyewear. I mean, there could be little pieces of material that come off and hit you in the eye. Um, beyond that, full body clothing I like to have all the time. Gloves for handling metal, which is typically sharp. Metal typically has sharp corners. And that's about it for the bandsaw. Very important tool, critical. It's a lot of prep work happens with the bandsaw. Cutting pieces like these here, we can do that on a bandsaw. We can use it, the iron worker for that. But if you've got especially very thick, like solid shaft, say three inches, that's where you definitely want to use a bandsaw. Otherwise, I mean, the abrasive cutoff saw would take way too long. Uh, the iron worker can't handle it because it can only do flat things. Um, the torch will get you a very messy cut. So this, when you want a nice, beautiful cut, that's the tool to go to.